Well, Justin mentioned that the last several days we have been, all of the clergy staff of the church and several of our lay leaders, our lay delegates, have been over in Lakeland at Florida Southern College attending with all the clergy throughout the Florida Conference, our annual gathering. It's called Annual Conference. <laughs> and it was a great week. It really was, as we kind of celebrated that this is the 50th year of being the United Methodist Church and remembering who we are was kind of our theme. So what did we do? People always want to know that. We elected committee members and we heard testimonies about the way forward and we passed the annual budget. We reconnected with our mission priorities, which had to do with disaster response after Irma or the church school partnerships. We reaffirmed our covenants with Cuba and Haiti and Angola. We chartered three new congregations. This was so exciting. One was a Hispanic congregation, one was a Haitian congregation, and one is a congregation, and on their website it says they are a church made of misfits. For those who haven't felt truly comfortable in church for a long time, if ever. So that was a very exciting night. We listened to some powerful teaching by Dr. Paul Chilcote, and we heard some moving sermons by Bishop Sue Hopper Johnson of North Georgia and Bishop Gregory Palmer of West Ohio. We voted on a few resolutions. We learned about a beautiful ministry called Zoe, which really worked with the, with the most vulnerable children, orphans, helping them to become uh, sustainable and having lifestyle and how to get the skills they need. Some of us, <clears throat> I will say, I was the only one of our clergy out there, except Amy Green joined me. Um, we had a very early 5K race at 6.30 in the morning, a uh, race to uh, make money for disaster response and also just simply for good health. It was a lot of fun. It was the, probably the, tr the biggest highlight, though, was the licensing, the commissioning, and the ordaining of women and men who have been set apart for ministry. And it was very exciting, a great week indeed, as we did the work of the church and celebrated the witness of our larger connection together.